Hey guys, Movie Junkies Alive, and today we're talking Mission Impossible Fallout. Directed by Christopher McQuarrie and starring Tom Cruise, Rebecca Ferguson, Vin Rain, Simon Pegg, Henry Cavill, and a slew of others. Uh, Ethan and his team kind of, they were supposed to retrieve some plutonium cores that could be used to make nuclear weapons. And they botch it. The syndicate gets a hold of it. So now Ethan and his team have to deal with the fallout of their actions and try to save the world once again. Fallout. I really wasn't expecting this to be this good. Granted, the Mission Impossible series of films um, have gotten better and better as they've gone along. I know most people consider it to the worst. I kind of have a soft spot in my heart for the for the stuff, some of the stuff in too. But I agree. Uh, for me, Ghost Protocol has been my favorite for the longest time. I really enjoyed Ro Rogue Nation and Rebecca Ferguson had a huge part to play with that. And now we have Fallout. And this is the first Mission Impossible movie that has been directed by the same person twice. Christopher McQuarrie. He did Rogue Nation and here comes Fallout. And I think... What that helped with is a uh, consistency, so to speak, uh, in the flow of the way the cinematography feels in this movie. The action sequences in this movie are flawless. There's no other way to put it. And if you were lucky enough to see this in an IMAX theater, holy crap. I mean, the intensity of it, everything is so well edited, so well paced. There's an energy to every scene and a big part of that has to do with the fact that tom is doing all his own stunts like we know he does so when he's racing through traffic on a motorcycle barely getting away from getting hit by a car when he's flying a helicopter by the way two of the best action set pieces in this movie that motorcycle car chase scene and that helicopter chase scene when these things are happening you're totally in it you're totally invested and it can be shot a certain way because there's no cg replacing the actor there's no stunt double this is him this is all him and i have i don't know i've never been a huge fan of tom cruise i have nothing against him i enjoy his films but somehow this movie cinched it for me this movie for some reason just had me like wow i have to give mad respect to tom cruise and what he and Christopher McQuarrie pulled off with on a cinematic level with this film. The score is also really well done. I've always loved the Mission Impossible theme. And here, it, they do a little something extra with it. It's a little bit darker, a little bit more somber. But it works. It really works. And Henry Cavill, which is probably what everybody wants to, to talk about, was it worth Mustache Gate? Um, I think it was, you know, I really enjoyed seeing him in this sort of role. It's not something we see him do often. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking back on his previous roles and maybe a little bit in what he did in the Tudors. Maybe he was a little bit of a good guy, bad guy in that one. Here is that dynamic is put on full display. I think he does a fantastic job. He definitely has a look to him. You know, he has a huge Superman look to him. And it's, it's a nice balance against a character like Ethan Hunt. And they describe it so well. Actually, it's said in the trailer, you know, you prefer scalpel, Ethan Hunt. I prefer to use a hammer, Henry Cavill. And they, they, it is in the way that they handle their missions and the way they go about what they do, you know, that you see that dynamic. I really enjoyed him here. I, he looked like he had a lot of fun with the rule. And I, for one, would love to see him continue to do stuff like this where he, he actually gets to stretch and we actually get to see him say more than one or two lines like what happens to him in the Justice League and Superman movies. I really want to see him stretch because I think he's a talented actor and I think there's a lot more to what he can do. Everybody else gave top-notch performances, I think. Um, Rebecca Ferguson, I loved her in Rogue Nation. I wish we had a little bit more of her here, but what she does, she does fantastically well. She is like a, her character of Elsa is definitely like a female Ethan Hunt. So all that stuff works so well for me, guys. The downside for me were a couple of things. There are some plot, not too much plot holes, but plot contrivances, weak spots in the storytelling that you know they put it there just to move stuff forward. For instance, there's a scene 
I'm, it's not so much a spoiler because it's in the trailer. There's a scene where they're being shot at from a motorcycle rider and the bad guy's in the front seat of the car. It's like, why would you put him in the front seat of the car? And to me, it's just to have that scene, to have that moment with those characters to move things forward. There's no other plausible reason for why you are being chased by the police, but you have a guy who is obviously has a black hood on his head, looks like he's being kidnapped, and you have him in the front seat of a car with no tint. That makes no sense to me. Um, there were a few moments like that. I also had an issue with a certain double agent being revealed way too early in this. I felt like they should have played with it a lot more. We should have been guessing at least halfway through this film as to this character's intentions. And it's given away very early, very easily. If you're paying attention to what came before, you're going to know who that person is. You're going to know that they are a traitor. And I didn't like it. It came way too early. So there were moments like that. Uh, there were a couple of dialogue moments that I kind of cringed a little bit. Um, a couple of lines that were delivered, one by Tom, um, in a moment where he's talking to, um, let's say, somebody who arranges a trade between for the plutonium and so forth. And he, he says something like, I am who I am. And like, I don't want to get into it too much, but it came across really cringeworthy, a very cartoon villain-like. There isn't a lot of that, but there's a couple of dialogue moments for me that were a bit cheesy, a little cringeworthy. But overall, guys, this is one of the best action movies I have seen in a while. This movie sets the bar so high for action set pieces. I'm pretty positive, like, Dwayne Johnson and Jason Statham and Vin Diesel probably sit at home watching this and like, God damn it, Tom. Would you, you know, because... It's so well done. Definitely see this movie. One of the best action movies I've seen in a long time. And the action is so enjoyable. The pacing is so good. The editing is so good. That I can leave the story stuff aside. The mistakes that are there. The story is also a little bit on the complicated side. I know for some people they're not going to like that. It didn't bother me. Um, I don't mind having a properly adult story in an action movie which is something again usually the stories cast aside for the action set pieces that stuff didn't bother me this movie has enough good in it that the bad the stuff that doesn't work doesn't weigh it down so i'm giving it an eight and a half out of ten i highly recommend checking this out in an imax theater if you can I believe they did use imax cameras to shoot a lot of the action sequences and you see it beautifully displayed on screen so if you can't see it that way definitely check it out that way if you're a fan of the mission impossible franchise like i have been since the television series definitely you don't want to miss this one it's, it won't disappoint you I, at least i don't think it will you know i put some people who are like it's okay and that's fine you know but for me this one is a definite win and that's going to be it for me, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to hit that like button. It's much appreciated. If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can click on my face right over there. And you can watch past videos by clicking up there. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll know whenever I put out new content. I try to put out new content on a weekly basis. So you can check me out here or you can check me out on Stardust app. If you use that, I'm there as well, Movie Junkie, capital M, capital J. And until next time, guys, bye-bye.